what's going on youtube welcome back to the beginner track which we have finished by ending or by the end of today's video so what we're going to do today guys we're going to take a look at the blue machine which is rated as easy and after blue we will have we we actually have done all of the machines now you might be wondering about lame what's gonna happen for lame now lame actually you can find the walkthrough of lame in my channel i'm going to put the video link in the description so you can complete the track <coughs> so we go to blue from here we make sure we spawn the machine make sure the ip address is populated and start hacking so if you go to my virtual machine i started with an nmap scan i used version enumeration and the script engine and here i scan the ip address as you can see we have several open ports uh, most of these ports are actually, as you can see, have to do with SMB 135, 139, 445 If you scroll down, you see the host script results We have information about the SMB, as you can see, the SMB security mode um, SMB, SMB1, which means SMB1 is enabled, by the way Here we have the OS discovery It indicates that a installed operating system is Windows 7 Professional 7601 now if you remember guys previously uh, a couple of years ago there was a vulnerability that affected windows 7 and smb so if you have windows 7 running okay and you have smb port open you can actually exploit the system or at least you can just enumerate it for the eternal blue vulnerability now, let's say you don't know about eternal blue vulnerability. What you're going to do now? Let's say you're just uh, starting, getting started, and you don't know anything about the eternal blue, and you don't know what is the next clue after the in-map scan. So, the first clue, guys, we have these ports running, okay? And we have Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and SMB. So, we have, we've, gone, we've got only one thing to enumerate, which is the SMB. So, let's go to... We can use Metasploit, okay, to enumerate for any kind of vulnerabilities and exploit them. So basically, what we're going to do, we're going to say search name SMB and type, let's start with the enumeration. So basically auxiliary, let's look at the auxiliary modules, see how we can enumerate this SMB more. So we've got many modules here so we have to narrow them down to save your time so let's close this one okay oops i think i closed yeah this is here so we have auxiliary server capture we have auxiliary admin smb ms17010 command uh, I think it's execution eternal champion SMB remote windows command execution so we can enumerate the machine if it is susceptible or prone to that um, exploit so we can take this path okay and use show options or we can just type info by typing info we get the information about the module this module will exploit SMB with the vulnerabilities in MS17010 to achieve a write what where primitive. This will then be used to override the connection session information with an administrator session. From there, the normal PS exec command execution is done, exploits a type confusion between transaction. Okay, let's see that. So show options. Okay, so we have our hosts required okay let's start with our host now set our hosts run as you can see it works system session obtained server start timed out okay if running a command or non-service executable getting the command output executing cleanup cleanup was successful command completed successfully output for net group domain admin slash domain 
So what does this mean guys? It means we can work out an exploit for MS17010. So let's take a look at this one. So we go to MS17010. Okay, so the security update results of vulnerabilities in Microsoft Windows. The most severe of the vulnerabilities could allow remote code execution if an attacker sends specially crafted messages to a Microsoft server message block. And this vulnerability, as you can see, dates back to 2017. It's kind of old, but we're not doing the video here to show you guys the vulnerability. It's just part of the beginner track to show you guys how the methodology works for easy machines. So let's go back now. We have a vulnerability here in place. Let's see what other auxiliary models we can use. So we have this scanner for MS17010. Let's take a look at this one. Info uses information disclosure to determine if MS17010 has been patched or not. Specifically, it connects to the IPC share tree and attempts a transaction on FID0. Okay, so this model perfectly fits uh, as a scanner for this vulnerability. So let's see show options. Set our hosts yep okay other options domain isn't required pass and user aren't required so yes we're good to go run so here we scan the host if it is patched or not host is likely vulnerable to ms um, 17.0.10 so what we're going to do next guys is we're going to search for an exploit so we're gonna say previous back okay so search type exploit name smb so we have a limited output. Let's look for the ones that have MS MS seventeen zero ten eternal blue. So this is it. I'm going to take this. Use show options. Okay, so we have to insert the our hosts. And let's change the values of L host and R port. So show or IPA. So this is the IP address that I need to use here. Set L hosts. You can change the value of L port if you want, but I'm gonna leave it as is and I'm gonna say exploit. seems like we have got something here a tunnel blue overwrite completed successfully so now we are waiting for the interpreter shell We have fail here. So this is the point where it failed, triggering free of corrupted buffer. So it failed here. 
what has changed here is that um, the number of buffers has have changed let's see drawing exploit with 17 groom allocations if we go up how many allocations we have used so we used 12 in the second attempt we are increasing the number of allocations hopefully uh, we trigger uh, free of corrupted buffer and I guess it failed again so again increasing the number of groom applications to 22 let's see why this is failing msf exploiting ms 17 0 10 let's see here are we doing something wrong so we can use ps exec with the credentials but we don't have credentials for now eternal blue so this is the ugly stepchild of so we set our host and we run it should work but we are failing for some reason guys let's find out exploit completed but no session was created um, let me examine if the host is still alive so pink sometimes the machine goes offline so we have to make sure that the machine is still live so it is live show info options so our host is set correctly no need for username and password so the lhost hasn't changed is this this was the problem i guess let me let's get back set lhost i don't know why it hasn't changed exploit now it shouldn't take long to to uh, successfully get access but we might actually have uh, you know forgotten to set the lhost or we insert the wrong value let's see now so here we go triggering free of corrupted buffer let's check out this post here so you can exploit windows eternal blue this way show targets there is nothing out of the ordinary that you have to do to make this work so it's failing I'm gonna give it one more chance if it didn't work I'm gonna get back now to the options see if you can change something apparently we are able to connect to the target and we have successfully exploited the target but the connection is not isn't coming back eternal blue override completed successfully sending egg to corrupted connection so this is the bottleneck here I think it's failing so I'm gonna control C show options again let's compare here so the target here is automatic targets if we check here show targets okay so i think we need we need to use the one window seven so we're going to set the target here set 
target one show options and now it's showing windows 7 okay run And the last, the last chance for us guys is if this didn't work is to reset the machine altogether. Okay, all of these guides require you to have username and password, which we don't. This is Windows Server. Let's see Windows 7. Yeah, this is it. So I don't think we uh, uh, have something to revise. Okay, guys, I'm going to issue a reset on the machine. Hopefully this will fix the issue. So I have reset the machine. As you can see, it worked. Now we have interpreter shell. Let's now drop to shell. and extract the flags dir cd users so we have i guess administrator and harris for the user flag we're gonna go to harris type user.txt much easy very easy submit flag and that was it so now for the the user the root flag or the system own I have done this before but you can extract it by going to the administrator user so that was it guys I hope you liked the video and we conclude now the uh, beginner track in hack the box it's still giving me 88 percent because in lame i don't have the user flag so i need to submit the user flag in order to complete the beginning track but nevertheless most uh, importantly now is that we can edit all the machines if you go back to the tracks in the next upcoming videos we're gonna see which track to go with if you have specific thing in mind or track you want me to get started with you can just put the name of the track in the video description and let's see what we can do so thank you guys for watching